Hey there, uh, this is Coin Metallurgist, and I just want to make a quick video uh, talking about how important it is to clean your hands uh, after uh, looking through uh, a bunch of circulation coins. So, um, you know, I just got done looking through a thousand dollars of half half dollar coins, and you can see this this black on my fingertips. This soot or this dirt or whatever it is from from the coins um, and I actually wash my hands about halfway through so that's only after going through about half of the, the stack of coins uh, that I was going through today um, and I would just like to iterate that coins are very dirty you know that we have these coins that are from you know decades ago and they've been circulating in in ridiculous amounts of people's hands. So, so for example, we have the, a 1980 coin here. Now, a half dollar coin is not going to be circulated as much as like a quarter or a ni quarter or a nickel. Um, but in the last, you know, 35 years, how many people could have touched this coin? How many floors could it have fallen on? We have no idea. You know, nobody, you know, periodically goes through and washes all these coins really, really well. So there could be all kinds of germs left on them. Um, so, I mean, you can see this, physically you can see this dark darkness on the fingertips. But even if you didn't have this, um, the, the coins have could have so much different bacteria or all kinds of different uh, diseases on them that it, that it's very important once you... You look through a ton of circulation coins like this that you take the time uh, to wash wash your fingers. You know my my uh, left index finger here is so uh, dirty that I can't even uh, uh, use the little touch ID on my phone to to unlock my phone. I have to type in my passcode because it's too dirty for it to recognize my fingerprint. Um, so this is just you know a video to to say please wash your hands after. Uh, touching a whole lot of circulation coins. Um, it will keep you healthier. And uh, thanks for watching the video.